right, so there's many things you can do in your life if you are diagnosed with epilepsy or any seizure disorder for any reason that can eventually help make things easier, if that makes sense. Um, you know, one thing you're going to want to keep is, an, is a seizure log, and got mine right here. And some people use charts and stuff. If it works for you, right on me. I just list facts about the seizures. Is that dark? Now? There we go. So see, I just list facts about the seizures. Um, I also make emotional notes, just general, kind of like a diary would be, just about my seizures. As you can see, I enter stuff in there. Um, if charts work for you, use charts, a list works for me, symptoms, what happens. Um, all of this comes from my wife. I have no idea what, <laughs> what all this happens. So, she gives me the details of what was happening before, what possible triggers were, what I was doing, what the seizure was like, what it looked like, how long it lasted. Um, how I was after the seizure, um, if I complained of being nauseous, tired, confused, she's, she's learning more what I'm looking for in information as well. Um, I'm lucky I have her. I, I would not be able to do this as well as it is do, going without her. I mean, you really need somebody that can tell you what's happening. Because <laughs> as an epileptic, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't. Mom, I also keep a seizure journal that's video on my computer here. Um, just so I'm hearing my own thoughts and seeing them. It seems to help. I'll, I'll, I'll look through my book as I'm uh, talking to the camera. and It seems to help. It, it comes from me, too. So it's not somebody else's words, at least. Um... Other than that, I mean, for me, just having the security of my wife helping keep me safe when I see is just, I, you can't put a price on that. Um, but I mean, just keep as good a record as you can of every event possible. If I'm not capable or I'm too tired or just not able to write in my book for any reason, my wife will... Uh, write down all the information and I usually don't enter it in my book until I can talk to her and get you know even more in depth with it um you know take your meds keep track of everything you can that's about all you can really do you know if it feels helpless sometimes it really does I mean I'm a slave to when I'm gonna just fall and start fishing on the ground can't have a license anymore you know I gotta be careful when walking even I probably can't even swim anymore I love to swim I am a very good swimmer maybe not anymore so life changes but it doesn't mean it has to be bad so I'm just going through this now and I don't know. I'm putting all these videos out here just in hopes that if somebody's going through it, been through it, has a friend going through it, maybe it can help. I don't know. You know, I, I also do an Instagram at Dying Dabber. Um, that's mainly the fun thing. I get a little more serious here, a little more informational. This is more in depth for those who care enough to look into it, but, you know. I can't say enough how much I'm an advocate of cannabis, CBD, all that. The CBD really helps me out a lot. Um, but, you know, just find what works for you. If it's just pharmaceutical meds, cannabinoids, whatever works for you and stops your seizures is what I hope you find. So until next time, YouTube, take care, stay high, do your thing. Later.